Hello everyone, and welcome back, or welcome to my channel. Guess what? It's St. Patrick's Day! Weekend! I love St. Patrick's Day. It was my grandmother's favorite holiday, and my family gets together to celebrate her and the holiday. So this is actually her sweater. And then I'm also feeling festive. I'm wearing my uh, clatter ring. Is that how you say it? I'm wearing my clatter ring. Um, that my grandparents, same grandparents, gave me as a baby. And now I wear it as like one of those like cool half rings. So yeah, I am in the Irish spirit and I'm ready for St. Patrick's Day. So I thought today we will do a tutorial and have a good time getting ready. And we are starting off with the eyes because I plan on doing a cool like dramatic green smoky eye. All my looks are dramatic. It's not that dramatic. Today we will be using the Too Faced Peach Palette. I wanted to possibly use the Urban Decay Born to Run Palette. It has a really, really pretty green in there, but I just used Urban Decay in my last video for shadow, so we're going to use the Too Faced Peach... I think I said Peach Perfect. We're using the Sweet Peach Palette. As usual, I am going to start off with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. What else is new? Nothing. I think I've had way too much coffee this morning. I have so much energy. And also, green eyes are my favorite to do. Oh my god, I'm starting to sweat. Whew. I love, love, love when my family gets together. Makes me so happy because there's so many of us and then it's like, I don't know, we're just having a good time. I enjoy it. Um, I forgot to mention because I was so excited about everything that I actually did this look for St. Patrick's Day last year and I had an Instagram but I didn't have a YouTube channel. So just to give you an idea, this is kind of the look that we're going for and yes, my hair was much shorter and I miss it. I really want my hair cut. I need it cut. Wow, look at my brows. Holy crap. Look at those brows in that. You see that? They were good. Hmm. Looks like I carved them out. I never carve out my brows. I'm getting too chatty. Let's jump into shadow. The first thing that I want to do is take a medium sized fluffy brush and I'm going to use the shade Puree right here. And I'm going to put this all over in my crease. Sometimes if you've been watching me since I started, um, I start off with my darkest color in the outer corner and work it up into the crease, but I do that when I want a pretty smoky look. And this is uh, just a daytime family event that I'll be going to, so I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm going to start off with that color in the crease, and then I'll add my um, darkest shade out in the corner. I guess it just depends on what I'm feeling that day too. Alright, and then I'm going to take a large fluffy brush and dip into peaches and cream. And I'm going to use that to blend out puree up here. And this is a really nice shade because it's so close to my skin tone that I can go up to my brow and it's not going to add a weird color up there. It's a really nice blending shade. And then I'm going to take a small blender brush. So you can see here for brushes, I'll just show you quick. So we've got the largest brush that we used to blend out the crease color that we put on with our medium sized brush and then we're going to put on the darkest color with the smallest brush. And I'm going to take Charmed, I'm sure, and that is going to be our outer corner shade. And you can see I'm getting it on the side of the brush. I'm going to press that onto the outer corner. And then as less product gets on the brush, that is when I start moving the shade into the crease here. I'm going back in without any product with the medium sized brush to blend out the crease some more. I 
I'm so hot in this sweater. Definitely too much coffee. So I'm going to take a flat brush and I want to take Bless Her Heart and that is going to go all over the lid. And after I pick some up, I'm going to take my setting spray and spray my brush to make this shade more intense. Oh yeah. Look at that. This like olive green color is my favorite color. That's why you'll even see like the banner for my channel and like the end screen and everything, all that is like this type of green. It's my favorite. And then ironically, my last name is green. And obviously, who plans that? I did not, but you know. I think with this shade, you definitely need the setting spray. I mean, unless you don't want it to have a really metallic look, but to be honest, without the setting spray, it is a pretty like lackluster shade. So I like to use a setting spray with it. And I'm just gonna take my medium sized brush and then just blend right in here. Go back in with Charmed, I'm sure, just a little bit, just to make sure that this outer corner is nice and intense. I am doing a foundation review on the Natasha Denona Transfer Matte foundation. So I'm going to cut out here and film that and then I'll come back once this foundation is on. Uh, but if you're interested, stay tuned because this foundation review will be coming up. So I'll be right back. All right, so you know all that uh, talking I just did about a foundation review? Here's some footage super quick of how that went. Ooh, oh my gosh, I look like an Oompa Loompa. I guess I'll really be representing Ireland today. I'll be orange on my face and green on my eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is so orange. Oh dear, everyone. Do I even continue on? I look ridiculous. Look at that. Mm -mm. Yeah, all right, goodbye. Yeah, so uh, scratch all that. And instead, I'm just going to be sticking with this video and going in with the original Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This is one of my favorites. I'm going in with a little bit of my Tarte uh, Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. Uh, I put out two pumps, and I don't know if that's too much. And I cleaned my sponge, don't worry. This is like my perfect shade when I have self-tanner on. Ooh, here, actually, I'm not gonna talk during this. Let's, let's do some ASMR with this sponge. I'm going to use what I used in my last video for concealer, which is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And I have it in the shade Nude. I think I definitely had more creasing with it. So I just kind of want to test it out again and see how it goes. Just to give my face a little bit more dimension, I am going to highlight with this today. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have it. I'm gonna use it up, so. I think it looks okay. Okay, and then for powder, I'm going to use my Cody Airspun. I haven't used this in a long time. Whoa, on camera. There's... And even though this is a mattifying uh, foundation, I am still going to set the rest of my face just because I am an oily person. So, so if you're not as oily, then you probably don't have to set this, but... I am going to. I'm telling you, that primer, oh my gosh. That is so, so good. I think I still have some of that other foundation on this here. So before we finish up the uh, base, we're gonna jump back into the eyes. 
Something that I forgot to do before I started the base was use my Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. If you also saw my, again, playing with old makeup, you would see that I use the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, which is more of a metallic, whereas this is glitter. And I did not like the Shimmer and Glow, but I know that I love the Glitter and Glows. These are awesome. So I'm going to use this in the shade Gold Goddess. And I thought it would look really cool with the green on the eyes. The only thing is that you can see the product being pushed around and then it like doesn't get on the applicator and that annoys me. So I'm just going to tap this on. Uh, yeah, look at that. I'm going to tap this on. I don't want it to be very concentrated. Just a little bit all over. Look at that. That is so pretty. I love glitter. I do. I love glitter. It's a confession. So you don't have to have this if you don't like glitter. But look at that. Look at the difference. I just think it adds something and it's like boom. Ooh, ooh, there's a lot on there. Oh, I didn't want that much in one area. It's okay. If you ever get some glitter in an area that you didn't want it, um, just take a spoolie. I got some over here. Just take a spoolie and scratch it off. Voila, gone. Yeah, see I'm getting some fallout down here, which it's my own fault for forgetting to put that on before I did my base, so. All right, I think I got most of the glitter off of my face. Okay, finally back to finishing up the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a small, uh, fluffier brush and I'm going to dip back into puree. I'm going to run this all along the bottom lash line here. And then I'm going to dip back into Charmed I'm Sure. And I'm just gonna get that right on the tip of this pencil brush. And I'm going to use that right along the lash line. Okay, and that is it for the eyes so far. Um, I also, just so you know, I'm going to keep all of the footage of me blending. Um, I think I'm going to do that for all future videos too and speed it up because I feel like a lot of times people don't realize the amount of time and effort that it takes to blend out shadow because I feel like YouTubers normally cut all of that out and then it's like, oh look, I just blended for 10 seconds and it's done and it's blended and it's perfect when really it it takes a while to get a really nice blended look so um if you guys like that let me know i think it might be helpful for a lot of people all right enough of that let's get back to the face so i'm going to take my anastasia beverly hills contour kit and i'm going to go in with this middle shade to contour and i'm going to use the morphe m510 to get a more precise contour because I am going to go in with bronzer as well. I don't know. I've got glitter on the eyes. I feel like I should have contour on the face. We are just having fun. If you don't want to do contour and you want to do only bronzer, go for it. Okay. And then I want to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I haven't used this on camera in a while. On a nice large fluffy brush to get it nice and diffused. That's all I'm doing for bronzer. Next, for blush. I have three blush options out because I can't decide which one I want. So I thought I'd hold them up and see which one I wanted. I don't think I want this one. This one's gonna be too bright. So I'm going to use one of my favorite blushes, which is Mellow Wine from Wet n Wild. These are like $3 and they are amazing. I feel like this one looks really nice with my tan. 
I mean, it's my fake tan, but whatever. Okay. This blush is just so good. It's one of my favorites. And just like I said in my last video, when I have a tan, I like to add some blush up here on my temples. It kind of adds like a like a slightly sunburnt look as if I've just been on a nice vacation. I'm going to use another product that I've used pretty recently and that is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. And I pulled this out again because I really want to use this shade Summer. It's a nice gold highlight and I thought it would look really nice because we have gold glitter on the eye. I don't want to do too much because this can be pretty blinding pretty quick so I tapped off all the excess on my brush and I'm just going to lightly, there's a dog hair, and I'm just going to lightly put this wherever the sun would naturally hit. Okay, what is next? Oh, and then I want to, almost forgot, and I want to take the same highlighter and we're going to use this as an inner corner highlight. I think it's nice when you use the same highlight that you used on the face for the inner corner. Just makes everything pretty cohesive. I am going to take just a little bit and then just fill in this gap right here that is um, on the lower lash line. I am loving this. I love green eyes, like green smoky eyes. I just think that they are so freaking cool. I just love it. It's my favorite. All right, we are almost done. I am going to do my brows and some mascara off camera. I'm going to use again the eyebrow design by Essence. I used this in my last video and I just really enjoyed it. But I'm going back to my L'Oreal boost and set. So I'll be right back with brows and mascara on. Okay, brows and mascara are on. And for mascara, I went back to my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. So we are almost done. Um, something else that I did off camera that I didn't show you guys was I did carve out my brows just a tiny bit because I messed it up. So, and then the last thing that we need to do is our lips. I really don't feel like wearing lipstick. And I know that day that I wear this whole ensemble, I'm going to be eating a lot of food. So I don't wanna to have to worry about lipstick. So I'm using the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Dolly. Oh, I thought I was gonna make a noise, hold on. There we go. I have a Natasha Denona shadow that fell out and is just sitting right there. This palette is way too expensive for that to happen. This is not funny. Whew, minty. And we're done. I hope you're ready for St. Patrick's Day. I for sure am. Look at me. I am ready to go. I'm ready to party. And by partying, I mean hanging out with family. So quick pop in. I know this, again, is not a foundation review, but I'm just trying to show you guys what different foundations look like on my skin so that when we get to foundation reviews, you know what I'm comparing to. So, so far we have the Too Faced Peach Perfect Matte Foundation, which looked okay on my skin. It wasn't bad. And then the last one that I did a quick pop in check in like this was the Wet n Wild. And that was in my full face of the Clarisonic video, which I'll link down below. But for today, I have on the original Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Foundation, which I know I love. Like, look at this. I put this on around 12 and it's now 6.30 and this looks awesome. This is the foundation I wore on my wedding day because I know it holds up so well on my skin. Like this, it looks awesome. I'm going to turn my ring light down just a little bit so that way you can see the texture of my skin a little bit more. All right, hopefully that's dark enough. Um, I don't wanna lose all of my light, but yeah, if you saw my wet and wild one and how oily I was after only four and a half hours, you're gonna look at this and be like, wow, that's awesome. And this is kind of what I compare everything to. I love this foundation. So here is your quick update, check in, pop in, whatever you wanna call it. Now we know what we're comparing to. All right, on with the scheduled video. I hope you enjoyed this very energetic tutorial. At least I think it was energetic. I felt energized. 
If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. Videos are every Tuesday and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and all of the makeup that I use today will be in the description box linked down below. All right, go have a good one. Bye. It's same pet. That was terrible. Hmm. And intensifying. Intensifying. That's not a word. Intensifying. Okay. Ah, oh, so hot. All right. Intense. I don't need to. Exp Never mind. Okay. Too much energy. Watching a plane land. I upload every Tuesday and Friday. Ew, there's beeping. I'm going to turn down. Shh. I'm going to turn my ring light. Ooh, I got an itch. I'm going to turn my ring. Foundation is where it's at for me. I love finger guns. God damn. I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Lil... So, I'm going to take... So... All right, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Again, oh my God. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 all right, okay. All right, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay, all right, okay, 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 all right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, okay, 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 all right, 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 I feel sweaty from being energized.